In this work, we present a domain invariant robot learning approach to adapt deep models to new environments where the testing data is drawn from a different distribution as that of the training data, such as in transferring models from simulation to the physical world. Collecting and labeling large-scale training data in physical environments is time-consuming and cumbersome. Generating this data in simulation provides a feasible alternative, but the modeling inaccuracies do not generalize to the physical world. In this work, we investigate how to mitigate these discrepancies between image and optic distributions for vision-based deep learning. In contrast to widely used domain randomization approaches that naively treat the discrepancy between the domains as variability in the simulation parameters, we focus on sample-efficient domain adaptation to learn invariant feature representations for transferring to a new environment. Formally, we analyze the situation with two domains, one corresponding to the simulator or the source domain with loss of label examples, and the other corresponding to the real or target domain with a few label examples. We seek to learn the policy such that the empirical error on the target domain is minimized. Commonly used domain adaptation approaches learn an invariant feature transformation by aligning the marginal distributions across domains. They implicitly assume that the conditional distributions of the transformed features also remain similar across domains. This, however, creates ambiguity in class alignment that can result in negative transfer to a new, new domain. To this end, we present a domain invariant representation learning approach that semantically aligns both the marginal and the conditional distributions by leveraging upon a few labeled examples of the target domain. The joint discrepancy across domains is minimized by minimizing the sum of both the marginal and the conditional discrepancy across domains. To make it concrete, consider this two-dimensional example uh, with two classes as shown in orange and blue. Fill circle represents labeled examples, while empty circles are unlabeled examples. In the conventional supervised learning scenario, we see that the decision boundary in black on the right plot fits well to the training data, but does not generalize well to the target data drawn from a different distribution. Aligning the marginal distributions in the shared feature space as represented by the overlapping density plots of the domains in the middle, however, results in a cross mapping of class categories with negative transfer. Intuitively speaking, the apples of a simulator are being aligned with the oranges of the real domain in this case. Even if there exists a label shift with an imbalanced class ratio in the target domain, such as that of point one in this example, we see that it leads to uneven mixing of class samples across the decision boundary with the marginal alignment of distributions. Dole addresses the cross-label mismatch and the label shift problem by aligning both the marginal and the conditional distributions with a couple of labeled examples in the target domain, as seen here with these overlapping contour and density plots in the shared feature space. The overall algorithm optimizes three additional loss functions. The marginal alignment loss optimized with adversarial learning by using a domain discriminator. Uh, conditional alignment loss that is also optimized with adversarial learning for each class separately and the triplet distribution loss that makes the conditional distributions disjoint in the shear feature space. We investigate the feasibility of vision-based decluttering by central real transfer with the proposed durable approach. We generate 20,000 simulation images using publicly available optic meshes in the Pyrebola simulator. Similarly, we collect 112 real images with the mobile greater HSR using commonly available household and machine shop optics. The robot declutters the environment by first recognizing the objects on the floor and subsequently planning the grass points to pick them up and deposit them in the target bins. Results for the deep object recognition network here indicate that naive transfer of models from simulation results in a poor performance with 26% accuracy only. Triplet, DAN, and MCD improves the performance in adapting to the real environment, while Dural mitigates both the marginal and the conditional discrepancy for robust into real transfer, even outperforming the baseline of just training on real data. Experiments on Toyota HSR show that the robot is able to grasp a wide variety of objects with 86.5% accuracy. The video shows the real implementation with the Toyota HSR. We randomly drop a subset of real objects on the floor. The robot recognizes the objects, lands the grasp, and puts them in the target bins. In case the objects overlap by more than a certain threshold, the robot executes a singulation primitive to isolate the objects. Subsequently, the robot plans across these primitives in a repetitive manner. Please visit the project website and repository for more examples and details. We welcome further uh, questions and collaborations.